The movie starts at a faraway castle on a stormy night where Mystery Inc. are being chased by a monster. Scooby and Shaggy get separated and the monster goes their way and it chases them around the castle. The team later capture the monster and pull out its mask. They find it is Mr. Beeman, a real estate agent who prints counterfeit money. Beeman would have gotten away with it if not for Scooby and those meddling kids. The scene then changes to Daphne, who is in a talk show talking about her mystery-solving travels. Daphne plans to find real monsters for her new show, unlike the old, masked ones. She also mentions the gang went their separate ways except Fred, who is now her show producer. Elsewhere, Scooby and Shaggy have taken up work as contraband security guards at a local airport to sniff out illegal stuff, but they land on some snacks in a store. Velma works at a bookshop, but she misses her old life of solving mysteries. Shaggy and Scooby are found eating the contraband and the customs officer fires them. Meanwhile, Fred secretly contacts Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby and gathers them for Daphne's birthday. When Daphne meets Fred, they surprise her by popping out of the mystery van. Velma also gives Scooby some snacks, which she shares with Shaggy, but it's already stale. They embark on a road trip scouting haunted locations for their new television program, and they start at New Orleans. Mr. Yank is now back in business. In Louisiana, they still meet up with many fake ghosts. Daphne is really disappointed that the ghosts are not real and she needs a real ghost for the show. A lady named Lena, who is a chef on the Moonscar Island, overhears them talking and invites the lot to her haunted house in a bayou nearby. A pirate named Morgan Moonscar died on that island, and his spirit still haunts the place and Fred doubts it. Velma researches on Moonscar Island and finds there are indeed some strange occurrences around there. So before leaving, they find Shaggy and Scooby who are eating a huge sandwich. They later follow Lena through the bayou where they're all excited by the new adventure. The gang meets Jacques, the ferry driver for Moonscar Island who invites them to his ferry. Jacques narrates how pirates once used the bayou to hide from the law, including Morgan Moonscar, the most famous one of them. Shaggy and Scooby try to catch a catfish, but they both fall into the water. They are chased by alligators, but an angry fisherman named Snakebite saves them. He has a hunting pig called Mojo, who is good at tracking catfish. Later, the lot arrives at Moonscar Island, where they follow Lena. They soon arrive at the haunted house, while Fred records. The place is crawling with cats and Scooby chases them. They then meet Gardener Bo and Miss Lenore, the owner of the house who loves cats and they apologize for Scooby's behavior. Miss Lenore then decides to show them around her haunted house and also allows them to tape. To keep Scooby from attacking the cats, she allows Shaggy and Scooby to get some food from the kitchen. As the others are talking, they hear some screams from them. They run over there thinking it's a ghost but they find out that it was that they ate some really hot peppers. Therefore, Miss Lenora Simone continues their tour of the house. Shaggy and Scooby are left in the kitchen to help themselves. Just then, they see a ghost writing on the wall and scream again. The others arrive to see the writing on the wall, which says, Get out, while Fred records. Another mysterious word saying, Beware, gets written on the wall. Fred also records Velma who is being miraculously levitated and Scooby catches her fall. They later view the tape in slow motion and discover that the writing was done by the ghost of Morgan Moonscar. Simone shows them a portrait of Morgan, but the gang do not heed his threats. Scooby and Shaggy are hungry and head for some food and head out. Meanwhile, Velma has a closer look at the wall. Behind that written wall, she discovers a piece of Morgan Moonscar's ship which was used in the construction of the mansion. Fred thinks it's someone dressed up as a pirate ghost to scare people off the island. Outside, Shaggy starts to chase the cats again, but meets with Snakebite, who orders his pig Mojo to chase him back. They catch up with Shaggy and both are chased by Mojo. They later fall into a hole, which they discover is a grave. Just then, a green spirit enters the skeleton and it comes alive. They run out of the house with the ghost following behind and bump into Bo. Velma and the others hear the screams and find them, but they find nothing at the grave. Velma suspects the gardener, Bo, but he says he is only working. Daphne is super excited by the adventure, but the others are starting to fear. Simone then invites them to stay the night and gives them rooms. 
As Shaggy stares into the mirror, a Civil War ghost comes out of the mirror and warns Shaggy and Scooby to get away. They inform the others of the guy from the mirror, whom they investigate. Velma discovers that the mirror is truly from the Civil War era, but dinner is ready. At dinner, Scooby causes trouble with the cats again, so he and Shaggy have to eat from outside in the mystery machine. The cats climb onto their car, and Shaggy has to drive to shake them off. Velma questions why ghosts want them off the island, while Fred just thinks it's just guys in masks after some treasure or oil. Back in the mystery machine, Scooby and Shaggy eat one of the hottest peppers and have to cool off at a nearby lake. While there, the mysterious green light enters the lake and some zombies appear. They then run into the forest and bump into the gardener, Bo, who scares them away. Fred and the others hear screams outside and get out with lanterns. They also bump into Bo, who always happens never to have met any zombies, and they suspect him. Daphne then suggests that they all split up and look for Scooby and Shaggy. When searching, Daphne and Fred find a zombie, and their friends, Shaggy and Scooby, also appear from the bush. Fred records while Daphne tries to pull off its mask, but they soon discover that the zombie is real. The green light hits the lake again and awakens more zombies which chase them, while Fred records. They then run away, but lose their camera in quicksand. Scooby and Shaggy also run in fright, looking for a safe place to hide. Shaggy and Scooby fall into a cave where they find voodoo dolls of Velma, Daphne, and Fred. As they play with the dolls, the actions of the dolls are connected to the real-life guys. They levitate and kick each other and realize they're being controlled. The two are then scared out of the cave by bats and chased by zombies. Velma, Bo, Fred, and Daphne go back to the mansion to look for Lena and Simone, but the power is out. They find Lena, who says the zombies dragged Simone away down a tunnel. They go into the tunnel and find the voodoo cave. Velma discovers Lena is lying, but it's too late, since Simone already grabbed their voodoo dolls. Simone then restrains them, and she and Luna then turn into terrifying, cat-like creatures. Simone then initiates a ceremony, in which she preserves her immortality by draining the life force of victims she lures to the island. Outside, Scooby and Shaggy meet Jacques and ask for his help. However, Jacques also turns into a similar cat and chases them. Simone explains that she was one of the first to settle in the island and looked to the cat god for help. However, later, Morgan Moonscar and his pirate crew attacked them and only she and Lena survived. The cat god then granted them powerful cat strength, which they used to destroy the pirates. However, they were also cursed. Therefore, Lena's work over the years has been to lure visitors to the island for drainage. The zombies are also the poor souls that they drained, and they were warning them not to go there. Jacques captures Shaggy and Scooby, but zombies attack him and the two escape. They land in the cave and prevent the drainage process, but are then captured. The zombies also enter the cave and Velma manages to free herself. Velma and Daphne then create voodoo dolls for Simone and Lena and control them. When midnight passes, Simone and Lena begin to shake and shrivel into bones and then dust. The spirits of the zombies have been avenged, and now they can return to rest. The gang find it hard to believe the occurrences, and without a videotape, no one else will either. However, Bo reveals that he is an undercover detective Bo Neville investigating the island disappearances. Daphne also asks Bo to feature on her show. As they plan to leave the island, Scooby also picks some peppers for the road. He is about to enjoy a peaceful sandwich with hot pepper, but gets disappointed to see Simone's cats also joined them, and the thrilling film comes to an end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.